Coach, I hope you and everybody in Orangeburg are well. How you doing today, sir? We we doing great, James. We won a football game. It was the exact medicine we needed. Cause let me tell you, after that central fiasco, boy, I didn't know. I wasn't sure. So yeah, thank you. Now this young gentleman, Mr. Howe, is making a name for himself, literally, as a new school player with South Carolina State University. 27 carries, 283 yards, uh, averaging 10 yards per carry with three touches. Just talk about what he was able to do, and, and that was a special performance. It was. Uh, Jawan's a, a special guy, and uh, he's now gotten to the point where we think he might be in possible sight of a thousand yards. One of the problem is those two teams he's got to play between Morgan and Norfolk. I don't know if there's a, a hundred yard game between those two guys for us, but uh, he's a big time slashing kind of guy. He's big enough to run through some tackles and uh, and and quick enough to make some people miss. Uh, he's the typical um, spread guy, you know, where you can give him the ball in different ways. And we hadn't thrown it to him a bunch, but we need to try to figure out how to get him touches from every kind of possible angle. And, uh, you know, we, we we are at the point now where we finally figured out what we got, we think. So now at this point, we need to go about the task of making sure that we use him properly. Coach, this weekend marks uh, the end of an era in terms of uh, your last home game. And when you look at that particular episode, yourself, Everybody's coming back to Orangeburg, uh, Corey Fields, all of your Warriors, all of you guys who have been able to make history will be there playing one of their last home games. Just talk a little bit about that, Mr. Green. All of you guys will be there and, and what that can look like. Yeah, well, it, you know, James, I don't know if we can get more people in here than we had last week. Uh, we think we had somewhere in the ne neighborhood of, of 40,000 in the area. And, uh, you know, it was a tremendous affair of sorts that way. And this weekend, I'm, I, I know it can't be nearly as many, but it will be a big crowd still. We've generally averaged about eight to 10,000 a game, even on just a regular basis. So we've always had good crowds here. And add to the fact that we've got all the different kinds of scenarios put together, you know, with all the different kinds of things going on. You know, it'll be fun to see them. And, and uh, you know, I look forward to trying to see if I can keep my composure. You know, as we go through all of the different kinds of of affairs and ceremonies and that kind of stuff that you have, senior day is always I'm I'm a uh, a big bucket of water on senior day in general because it's it's just such a un, I'm unbelievable experience to you know to have seen these guys from where they are or from where they've been when they came in here as freshmen to where they are now as seniors. You know, they've grown up. You know, they're men, men. You know, they want to be men uh, when they come here, but they, they truly are when they get done. And, you know, you think about all of the good times and the bad times you've had, you know, with those guys together. So that's always probably the, you know, the lead dog in this hunt, you know, to kind of make sure that we do a good job of sending our seniors off, you know, in a good way. And then last but not least, then, you know, there'll be some other ceremonies. My, my team, Coach Jefferson's first football team here, was the 1973 team, and uh, so two of the guys you might recognize. Harry was a was a was a bud young sophomore. We didn't quite know what he was at that time, and uh, Donnie Shell, we had no clue was an NFL guy, and uh, he kind of gets into an NFL camp, and and it was a big strike year. Those guys just got on. He was a linebacker here in in college, and they got him. We actually, Coach Jefferson actually came in here and moved him to defensive back, the strong safety. His senior in college, he's been a linebacker his whole time. He's just been a red kind of guy. And even as a line, even as a as a, a defensive back, as a, as a strong safety, in his last year, he was just kind of on there because he hadn't played it very much. But that was the that that was the decision that made his career. And then he gets in camp, and he's fortunate enough that they don't cut anybody because all those guys. Or uh, uh, the only guys that got in camp, the veterans were out on strike, and they had the rookies and that kind of stuff. There, and he just kind of continued to make an impression, continued to make an impression, and they kept him, you know, for you know uh, th to be a special teams guy, and they run around and do stuff of that kind. And you know, unbeknownst to everybody, he he then becomes the you know one of the best players in the, you know in the history. He's in Hall of Fame now, so. 
you know, those guys are on that class of 73 class. And my class, my class of 75, which was the class in between those guys, <laughs> it gets picked at because we didn't have a Hall of Fame in our class. <laughs> but class of 74 did, the class of, class of 70, what, three, uh, what was it? Class of 73 did, class of 75 did, 40, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, we had a, we had a, a uh, a fun time, you know, with each other, picking at each other about the different kind of thing because there's three different groups and there's five different classes of people actually that are on that team. Thank you so much, Coach. Have a blessed week. Hi, right, James. Okay. Uh, we'll I'm still around here. I, I can't figure out exactly where I am. I'm got about to fall apart, but I'm good. All right, James. Thank you. See thank you. Thank you, sir. See you soon. Yes, sir. All right.